and he sort of thought mm, it's not so bad it'll be all right it will shift it'll go down they'll be fighting it mm. and i still kept looking across at that hole and i I was going back and forth to the TV lounge and to the kitchen and out and every 15 minutes I came out and I said it's getting, it's getting brighter, it's getting closer, it's getting brighter so I put a message out to the guys here, are we, are, is it any better, um, mm. is it moving, what's the update on the fire and Gary put out that it is, is a concern, uh, he was now gone to the neighbouring farms to assist. And that's okay. how we all work, everyone goes to assist. Mm. So they had gone to assist and we just watched. And for a good solid hour, we just kept watching the hill and just seeing it getting brighter. Um, I then said to Richard, I think I'm gonna un uh, pack up the laptop. He thought I was crazy. I said, no, I think you should maybe pack up your computer gear because he works from here. So he's got quite a system of four screens and it's not a two minute job to pack up his, his workstation. I said, let's pack up the workstation. I filled water bottles and then another message came through from um, one of our shareholders, Wayne Campbell, up the hill, who, who mm. had line of sight, and he said, all right, folks, just get your hoses ready, get your, make sure your nozzles are on, prepare water bottles, get your pets sorted out, pack anything that you feel is valuable. So there was like around that time, 8 o'clock? No, that was after 8 o'clock. Well, I've got all the times on my phone, I can have a look. I think that was probably about 8.30 to 9. Okay. And we just kept watching the mountain. And then our fur, we got started getting a few things ready. We actually, I phoned the lady at the back here, Michelle Moses, who's also got line of sight. Mm -hmm. I said, she, she lives on her own. I said, you're right. What are you thinking? And she said, you know, Linda, maybe I've been over protective, but I've actually packed a little bag for overnight and um, I am concerned. I've, you know, sorted a few things out and I said, no, I asked you. I said, okay, shout if you need us. And we carried on.